Hey everyone, this is Gary from the Body Electric. And uh, a couple of days ago, I read this article in a magazine, the Smithsonian Magazine, actually, about two college students that found a body in Kennewick, I believe it was, Washington. And they found it in the shallow waters along the Columbia River. Well, I found the story fascinating because it actually gets into diet. So these college students called the police and they came and they called the coroner and they thought it was a murder victim, but they figured out it wasn't and that it was a really old skeleton. So they called in the local archaeologist. He came over and took the skull and almost the whole skeleton out of this riverbed. Took it back to the lab. And he noticed one thing about the teeth, and this is the whole key point of uh, this video. They thought that it might have been a pioneer or a trapper. Well, it turns out it was neither. Archaeologists knew it was neither because there was no cavities in the teeth. Think about that. He knew it wasn't a pioneer or a trapper, that's a while back, because there were no cavities in the teeth. When we go to the dentist, he doesn't like jump back and go, Oh my God, you're acidic. You need to lay off the sugar and the starches. That's what's causing your cavities. You know, it, it get, I have no idea why they don't do that. No doctor, no dentist. What happened along the way? When did they decide to rinse our mouth with fluoride, trying to protect our teeth when all they have to do is get rid of the sugar and the starch? And I'm talking manufactured sugar, processed sugar, industrial type sugar that's been bleached and homogenized and whatever they do to it, okay? That is complex sugar. Our body doesn't know how to handle it. And once it comes into our body, the, the sugar and the starches, they are very acidic to the body. Now, this is what's really... That just blows my mind. Acidity gathers and is pushed into our lymphatic system. The blood feeds us, the lymphatic system gets rid of the waste, and the waste is acidic. So as we grow and we eat more and more acidic foods like sugar every day, starches every day, you know, uh, for those who have alcohol, alcohol, I mean, meat, it's all, it's all acidic. And it's okay if you know that and you can alkalize it with fruits, berries, and melons. And you get, well, I would never eat uh, fruits, berries, and melons because they're loaded with sugar. But that's simple sugar. And the other sugar is complex sugar. So it's important to know the duality of that. That... The simple sugars are made for our bodies. They're hydrational, they're nutritional, and they also help dissolve all the toxins that are in our body and flush it out through the lymphatic system. So when I go to the dentist, and, and trust me, I have to go a lot, uh, I have a lot of cavities, I've had a lot of problems with my ears when I was a kid swimming, I could, couldn't go in the water, it drove me crazy. I had dandruff, uh, a lot of earwax, uh, mucus, the whole thing. Not one doctor ever told me what was wrong with me. Well, son, you're acidic. Mm -mm, no, you gotta take this pill, or you gotta do this. It, it's, it's weird. It's just absolutely mind-boggling how simple it is to fix your body and how difficult it is for the doctors and the dentists to know that. Or they, they just, I don't know why they don't know. And if they do know, why they're not telling us. So, I found this article to be really, really interesting. Uh, let's look at some other stuff here. His teeth are worn down almost to the roots. And that is very typical of prehistoric man. So that's when they did the test to find out that 
this person was actually over 9,000 years old. So that's why I would say that he didn't have cavities. I'm not sure there was any sugar other than fruits, berries, possibly melons, and maybe some vegetables. And I'm quite sure they ate meat too. You know, it was all natural products. You know, there was nobody out there pumping the animals full of uh, antibiotics and steroids and, and God only knows what else. So their food was completely natural and obviously if their teeth were worn down almost to the roots, it was really rough food. But not like we have today. You can't, you can't get anything without sugar in it. High fructose, corn syrup, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's all man-made, it's all manufactured. I get why they're doing it. They're looking for shelf life. And they really don't care about us. So, I think it's time that we start sharing this information and spreading the word. And there's people that aren't going to want to hear it. But, you know, you only have to tell them once. And either they get it or they don't. And if you set the example, they'll start to pay attention as they feel worse and you feel better. So what happened along the way? Where did we lose or forget that sugar and starches are acidic and they cause acidity in the body, in the lymphatic system, and when it backs up and builds up, we come up with diseases and it causes all kinds of problems when it goes up into our head. So. Why is it that nobody knows this? I mean, this archaeologist knew that sugar and starch rot your teeth or causes cavities. So why is it that nobody else knows? Our doctors don't tell us. Our dentists don't tell us. I mean, I've had deep cleaning done in my teeth a few times now. Not once have they ever said, you have an acidic body. They would complain because I have so much plaque on my teeth and that plaque is on there trying to protect my teeth from the acidity. I mean, it's, it's so ridiculous. It's unbelievable. So, how do we get so far off course anyway? I mean, their idea to protect our teeth is to use fluoride. Well, why not get rid of the sugar and the starches and, and tell us that it's the processed sugars that are the problem? And if you eat fruits, berries, and melons, even vegetables with uh, sugar in them, that's simple sugar. All that processed crap that is in all of the food everywhere, convenience stores, I mean, it's everywhere. That's all processed sugar or uh, high fructose sugar, which is a processed sugar. And people are getting sicker and sicker, more acidic all the time and nobody's saying a thing about it. I find that ironic. I don't believe in conspiracies. I believe in the cost of doing business. And I think you'll find that the cost of doing business is costing us our lives. So I just think it's time that we start looking at these things and talking about them. You know, an archaeologist, for God's sakes, he walks up and he goes, well, it can't be a pioneer or a trapper because it doesn't have cavities in his teeth. I think that's, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty wild. That he knows that, and our doctors and our dentists don't. And they prescribe fluoride instead of cutting back on sugar and starches. I mean, that's what I was raised on. So, uh, I think there's a game being played. It's being played on us, and it's time that we stop the game and figure out what works for our body, keeps our body healthy and clean internally as well as externally, and share it with the world right here on YouTube. That's my goal. I know it's the goal of many others, and they do a fantastic job. So in closing, I'd just like to say this is Gary, and I will see you on the next episode of The Body Electric.